Here we go. Physics 110, astronomy at CSUB. We're going to do chapter 8, problem 3. Look up the mass and radius of Mercury and Jupiter and calculate their escape velocities using the expression in chapter 3. Does this help you see why, why the one body has an atmosphere but the other doesn't? So, from the textbook I've looked up for Mercury and Jupiter, both their mass and their radius, and the formula from chapter three is that the escape velocity from a planet or other body is the square root of two times the gravitational constant times the mass of the planet divided by the radius of the planet Masses and radii, we've looked up for these. The capital G is the gravitational constant. We've seen that before. The number 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 meters cubed per second squared times kilogram. The G value is in has kilograms, here's kilograms, G is in meters, our radius is in kilometers. So we're gonna have a collision of units. Sometime we'll need to make a conversion between kilometers and meters. Let's do that right now. Right here, right now, every one kilometer is a thousand meters. So this radius is two, four, four, zero, 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 zero meters. Now I'm ready to calculate the escape velocity of mercury. I'll put in these numbers. Let's uh, do it here. Square root of 2 times the 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 meters cubed second squared kilograms times the mass. 3.3 times 10 to the 23 kilograms divided by the radius 2, 4, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0 meters. First of all, I calculated the numbers inside the square root 1.80 times 10 to the 7. The kilogram units cancel meters cubed, meters times meters times meters divided by meters one of the meters cancel. We still have a meter squared divided by a second squared, but we still have to do our square root. And with the square root, we get 4248 meters per second. The procedure is basically identical for working out the escape velocity of Jupiter. The The mass, instead of 3.3 times 10 to the 23, will be 1.90 times 10 to the 27. The radius that we use will be this one converted into meters. That'll be 71.492.000 meters. For Jupiter, leave it as an exercise at home to uh, plug in the numbers and double check. 59,542 meters per second is what I got. A much larger escape velocity for Jupiter compared to Mercury, meaning particles have to be going a lot faster to be able to fly away from the gravity of Jupiter. This is fairly low, especially for a planet like Mercury that's close to the sun. If there are particles in the atmosphere, the sun would heat those particles to speeds faster than this. That's why Mercury has no atmosphere. It has a low escape velocity, plus it's close to the sun. Jupiter has a very large escape velocity, and no particles, particularly at Jupiter's distance, are moving this fast. None of the atmosphere of Jupiter escapes into space, and you can tell that from the combination of the escape velocities as well as the distance from the sun.